All right, well, I don't have everything to do right now. I have to come back and take a TABC course later on. Working on getting a new job, so that's going to increase my options. And I was asked to buy a, uh, well, I mean, it's a gas station that wanted me to do it. I'm not going to say anything negative about people working at gas stations. It's an important part of life. I'm all about doing important part of life type jobs. You know, I delivered pizza for the last 10 years, so um, I have no problem with that. But uh, right now I want to go fish because I've been sitting around the house all day, editing video. <laughs> I say editing video, um, and kind of watching other videos and kind of passing some time. So what I'm going to do is make a short, short video, hopefully, about um, packing up my tackle box for this little pond that I'm going to. And uh, then I'm going to head out and hopefully catch some fish while I'm there. Okay, so a little thing about me, um, when I'm not taking the boat out, note the boats, uh, if I'm not taking the boats out, I'm going to travel around, do some uh, shoreline fishing. I usually take about one rod with me, um, I don't like to carry a whole bunch of stuff, and one tackle box full of lures, and then uh, I've got another smaller one that's got terminal bait in it. So um, I've got them here, laid out on the table, kabam, to give you a little bit of uh, in-depth look at what I actually carry with me. Um, I don't have all of the bags or packaging for my soft or hard lure, so I'll just have to kind of go from memory, do the best I can. But, um, I'm, you know, I'm sure most of you guys will be able to recognize this stuff anyways. Dogs, they have no manners. Anyways, uh, this is pretty much what I carry with me. This is the size tackle box I carry. No idea what size it is. Um, is a Plano brand. See the brand there. Um, this came with three others, part of a um, tackle duffel system. That's what my brother uses. Um, those are the trays out of his. Uh, mine's kind of this blue one over here. I got it a couple of years ago. I really like it. Um, it's got a really nice, comfortable strap on it. You know, decent keeping things waterproof, has lots of pockets and D-rings and lots of storage. There's probably a lot of stuff in there that I don't know that I've left in there. Um, but trying to take it out on the boat and keeping it zipped up isn't really ideal. So sort of here with my soft plastics, I got them all pulled out. I don't think I'm going to carry quite so much of each individual color with me. Um, so let's start out with uh, pinks and the chartreuses are these Berkeley Power Baits. Um, they are a seven inch uh, worm. I got these in a blue fleck and fire tail. That's kind of a, a purple body and a blue fleck. Then also a solid black with a chartreuse tail. Um, if you've seen my Instagram, you've seen the bass I caught on that uh, pink and blue fleck. It was pretty nice. Um, usually carry a couple of these Zoom pumpkin and chartreuse tail lizards. These are a six inch lizard. Got the package over here, you can see that. Um, when I have dark um, jig trailers, not good at all with catching with jigs. But I have these um, black with uh, lots of blue fleck chunk trailers. I really like those. And that's a zoom also. Back over here, I've got some uh, Cinco style well, that's a um, green pumpkin, maybe. That's what the package says. Watermelon with red and black fleck. Shimmy stick from Strike King. But uh, really good action. Not a lot of heft to them. But I do like them. We've caught some fish on them. This one's got some bites missing out of it. So I have that in the green. I also have it in a black with a blue fleck with a blue tail and this isn't a dyed tail I want to say this is um, made during the production let me see if I can get that zoomed in on it doesn't look like it's going to want to anyways I'm going to take those with me probably two of each of these soft plastics I've also got a uh, swim bait trailer this is a Z-Man bat wing also in that um, watermelon and red and black fleck pretty good. I haven't had much luck with my swim bait yet. Uh, speaking of swim bait, this is a Z-Man swim bait also. I've got a bit of a craw trailer on there, bit half that craw off. 
This is in a kind of a bright color. I like the bright color on the bottom with the muted colors on top. Kind of a kind of a variety of bluegill, red belly, sunfish type of thing. Probably have a lot of mixed luck playing that in a lot of different waters. Haven't had any luck with it yet. Speaking of my small terminal tackle box, got this guy down here. Uh, has uh, a couple of different sizes of hooks and um, sinkers, some beetle spinners, a lot of small things. So I just want to take a small pocket thing. Over here to my hard lures. I like square bills. So I've got a shad square bill and I've got kind of an orange cross square bill. I need a red one. I don't have a red one. I have kind of a red one, but it's not quite the same. I don't think they dive, dive quite the same. Uh, this is my lucky crick hopper, crick hopper. Catch a lot of small fish on that. It's a lot of fun. I've had this popper for a while. Haven't had much luck on it. A couple of small spinners. A couple of frogs that I've got here. And that's pretty much all I take with me on the small scale. Uh, you know, I have a um, pencil bag that's got a couple of miscellaneous things in it that I'll have to add to later on. Um, but if I'm really going out somewhere by myself, these are the types of things I'll take with me. I've got a buzz bait here. I want to say this is a Hearts brand buzz bait. It has some pretty good action. Sinks a little bit faster than I'd like it to, but it's got a real big old hook on that. So probably need to get a trailer for that later on. So this here, apart from the itchy dog, is uh, what will eventually be our tackle corner. It's uh, right next to the air conditioner, so we don't have to worry about it getting too hot in the summer and worrying about melting our plastics. Um, and as you can, might tell from what I've got here, I typically sp uh, fish spin casting rods. I've even got another one under my coffee table that I uh, broke the rod on the other day. Um, but you might also be able to tell I don't fish very expensive. You know, big game rods, not too much. Um, I think this reel probably came with it, but I probably didn't spend $20 for that reel. Probably didn't spend $20 for this rod. Um, I've got a collapsible, you know, 13, 14 foot pan fishing rod over here that I just really enjoy taking out with me if I'm going camping. Um, and that is a cheapo reel. Not even going to tell you what type of that is. But over here is my slightly more expensive setup. It's got some braid on it. That is a lose 6.2 to 1 um, spin casting reel on a yeah wait for it Shakespeare excursion seven foot rod um, didn't pay probably twenty dollars for that rod but it did pay you know maybe forty forty five dollars for that reel so this is my more expensive setup I guess I really like it I've been fishing spin cast for a really long time but I need to, you know, adapt to be able to fish everything else. And what I've got over here on the same type of rod, I know it doesn't necessarily belong on there, but on the same excursion, seven foot. And these are uh, seven foot, just regular medium action rods. I've got a, let's see, this is platinum, pinnacle platinum plus a bay casting rod. And I've had this guy, ooh, that zoom's terrible. See if I can get this to work for me. Well, you know, I just have to trust me, that's what it is. I've had this for a couple of years. Um, wasn't very confident in my ability to use it when I first got it. Didn't know much about bait casting rods and didn't have the internet to do a lot of YouTube searches. There we go. My brother's been using it for a while, so he's got some braid on it. But, uh,. He's kind of wanting to use one of my spin casting reels, so I'm thinking about trading with him, getting this reel I've loaned him back, making a trade, because he's switched up and he's got himself an Abba Garcia Black Magic. And we'll do kind of a look at that a bit later. Uh, so this is what I'm going to take with me today. So I'm going to pack up my tackle box, get out on the road, see everything's still over there, and uh, load up my backpack. You can sit there, grab some water, and I'm going to go catch some fish. Everybody, I'm out here. Uh, looks like I'm alone. The water's up about uh, four or five inches all the way around, so it might be pretty interesting. 
Uh, I haven't looked at the water. I'm gonna stay kind of up, up away from the shore until I can kind of get some casts and see where things are. Sometimes very few things make me feel better than you know being out here on the water, have the camera not be able to see my face very well. Let me take a couple steps back. There we go. That's a lot better. Uh, being out here on the water and having you know. You just be able to see young people like here fishing. He's gone now. A little boy came up, you know, probably 15, 16. Came up, he's practicing on his real ask about the waterway. And uh, apparently, this guy from the newspaper up here taking photos of people fishing also. So maybe if you're around the area, you know where I'm at. Look at the newspaper, see if you see me. And if not, I'm not going to be worried about it too much. But it's good to see people taking interest and pride in their local parks. The place is pretty clean these days. So I'm back in the car. I caught nothing. Like nothing, nothing. Um, but I don't feel so bad about it because uh, there's a group of couple guys that didn't catch anything and there's another group of three guys that also didn't catch anything. Um, man, I threw everything too. Uh, worms and flukes and craws and buzz baits and spinner baits and crank baits and uh, if I had swim bait jig heads, I would have thrown some of those. Um, it's really unfortunate. Um, I really kind of feel like this is one of those places where it probably doesn't get stocked too often. And there's just not a lot to uh, be had there. You know, and if, and if there is, somebody either takes it or scares it away or scars it for life. So, that's the end of that. Uh, I do feel more confident with my bait cast reel did have a lot of bird nests, but uh, I'm pretty good at getting those out now. Um, uh, so thanks to you guys on YouTube, so I guess that would be uh, one rod, one reel fishing for helping me uh, get out of bird's nests, and fishing with flair for help with figuring out bait casters. But um, that'll be it for this episode. Um, so just uh, go ahead and follow us on Instagram. I don't have to add anything. Follow us on, uh, you know, subscribe us here. Uh, we're at Captain Longbong, at Captain, uh, <clears throat> at Dr. Hotbox. So uh, give us a follow, give us a subscribe, and uh, always remember to keep those lines wet.